What's going on everybody? I'm Julio. We're back with uh, another video. It's gonna be a fairly simple install today. We got this uh, Delta X Motorsport throttle pedal spacer thing. This works on both the regular E210 uh, Corollas and also works on the GRs. Um, this was originally developed for the GR Corollas because of it, people having issues being able to heel toe because of the awkward pedal placement. The regular E210 hatches and sedans have the same issue. The pedal placement is very awkward, makes it hard to uh, rev match. So in this video, I got this in about two weeks ago. I'm just now getting around to it. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. I've already disassembled the throttle pedal in the car. So I'm gonna go over there, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. And then we'll go over, actually we'll go over everything in the box first. So it's a fairly simple box, Delta X Motorsport. Um, comes with three washers, three five millimeter hex bolts, and your pedal spacer. And a set of instructions, which is nice. So I already did this or you remove this tray, and I also removed this already. I undid the three bolts on the throttle pedal, and I'll go show you where that is now. And then we're gonna go ahead and do this. And this kind of shows you the awkward, the awkwardness of the pedal positions, but I'll try and show you more on a horizontal, if that makes sense, view. So you can kind of understand where I'm coming from. So I've got a nice bright light down here. Basically, there's the issue. I'm holding it in place because I already took the bolts off. <clears throat> That's the issue. The brake pedal is much more further up than the throttle. So when you're pressing on the brake pedal, you have to come over here. It doesn't seem so hard at first, but when you go to blip the throttle, considering these require quite a bit of input, even after tuning, they require quite a bit of throttle input to get the revs up. You have to push the brake pedal in even further. So it kind of causes some unwanted, harsh braking. Um, at least in my case, everyone's driving style is different. But when I try to heel toe in this car, <clears throat> it's, uh, it's, it's, it's quite hard. Um, I always end up braking more than I want to, and I just end up doing regular rev matching and then get back on the brake, which isn't really the best. So, get in here, flip the camera to show you guys. So, you don't want to take that bolt off. It's that bolt up there you want to take off. Don't get confused. Don't take that one off. It's the ones with the <clears throat> with the black threads. It's that one, this one over here, and then that one all the way up there. And that's 10 millimeter. And it's on the instructions, but I figure let's make a video out of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this bracket on, and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so that's... Uh, That's what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on position A because I want it about as far up as possible. Position, obviously position, the, the original position without the bracket is as far back as you saw on the previous clip. Position A is gonna be the furthest forward. Position B is gonna be somewhat in the middle. So I'm gonna go to position A first and <clears throat> so in the instructions it says to torque it down. I don't necessarily have a torque wrench, so I'm just gonna hand tighten it the best I can. I did the same with the with the te stock 10 millimeters that are over there. You can't really see them. There we go. Uh, those. So I'm gonna get that in. I wish I could record a little better, but it's it is quite a tight space, especially for a big dude like myself. So uh, here we have. A five millimeter hex and these guys. 
And so basically how this is going to work, I'm going to try to set this up here as best as I can. You're going to grab the bolt here, this through, and it'll sit flush just like that. And that's how you put it on the throttle pedal. I'm going to do that. I'll be right back. All right. Just like that, it's in. I'm try. There you go. It's up there. This is position A. You, can, uh, you can't really tell, but that bottom one right there. Let's see if I can point to it. That one right there is position B. That's A. So the bottom one is B. You can see the same. Oh, no, you can't see. It's hidden. Anyways. here you can see how much better that is so i actually i'm gonna go drive this now be able to test it so i i'm expecting this to work great now i'm gonna just go ahead and pop this all back together it's fairly easy this kind of just lines up like that pops into place you line that in right there fairly easy <clears throat> and then this part we'll just uh, clip slide the liberty two port back in place you'll line up that tab back there should kind of just clip into place here. Boom, just like that. Uh, well, hold on. I have to run this cable through. This is just an extra step for me because I have this uh, AEM. We need two gauge. Don't mind that. Pop that into place. Actually, I can't plug this in yet. Well, yeah, I can. And then, grab a, a Phillips here. Pop those two screws back in. All right, guys, you can kind of tell it's, I'm in Florida. It's pretty, pretty dang hot. This is a fairly simple video to install. And like I said, it comes with instructions, but some people are more visual learners, you know? So I figure make a video, help the community out, you know? <laughs> so I'll test it out. I'll probably add a clip at the end, letting you know my thoughts and we'll go from there. I'll probably end the video there, but anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Um, leave a comment down below. Check out my Instagram. Check out the rest of my channel. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. And just kidding. I'm back. Um, so I spoke with, I believe his name is Jeff. I have to open my messenger. Um, the guy that made these, uh, the throttle pedal, the the throttle pedal spacers spoke with him i told him my height my shoe size and he was telling me that position b would probably be better for me um i drove around in position a it is fairly aggressive i'm not gonna lie so i'm gonna go ahead and switch to that to position b and then test that out and go from there but i'm gonna end off the video here um I will say 10 times easier, 100 times easier to rev match than, uh, or to heel toe than it was um, with the stock pedal placement. So do I recommend it? 110% yes.
if if you like to do your rev matching yourself, you don't like to use IMT like that, this is definitely a product to get. So uh, anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and change the position on that real quick. But like I said, I'm gonna end the video here. So again, thank you guys for watching. Um, drop a like if you enjoyed the video or if it was any kind of helpful. Um, subscribe if you like. If you like Corolla content, that's all I got. So <laughs> anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Catch y'all in the next one. Peace.